Hey guys, welcome back. We are standing outside of Coyote Clay. We are just loving New Mexico so far. We were kind of wandering around downtown and we realized there was so much gorgeous pottery for sale and it all seemed homemade and it really is part of the culture here. So we just decided that maybe we should just give it a shot for ourselves and here we are. Let's do this. All right, so we're about to meet our pottery instructor, Alex. Hi. Hi. I'm Meg. I'm Alex. Nice, nice to, to meet you, you. Ashley. Nice to meet you, Ashley. So today we're going to be throwing some pots. Let me introduce you to the wheels you're going to be on. Okay. This is a Pacifica. This is a Brent. They both can handle about 200 pounds of clay. You're going to be throwing about a pound and a half. Stay on the Okay. Uh, you guys want some aprons? So this is a very wet process. Friction is the enemy. Okay. Alex was awesome. I tried to like follow what he was saying. I do think I was being hypnotized by the wheel. The centering is really the hardest part for beginners. It's also the most important part in terms of producing like a nice finished piece. Alright. So theoretically by the time we're done with this process, we should have a nice flat floor and nice straight up and down walls. There was a lot of steps. I wish I took notes, but I was like, okay, I can do this, I can do this. That is so cool. I'm inspired now. We just get thrown like straight into the process. We slapped it on the wheel and started doing our thing. I'm afraid it's gonna slide and smack me in the face. Ah! <laughs> oh no! How do I stop it? It kind of starts off slow. So Ashley's looks good, mine looks good. We're kind of following the first basic steps, right? All you have to do is keep your hands steady and kind of hope for the best. That looks good. Thanks, man. That's really cool. This is actually something I am really enjoying right now. I love getting dirty. I loved touching the clay and the feeling of creating something. It's a good feeling. Now that you've got the right depth, mm -hmm. you need to spread your floor out until your pot okay, is so as wide the as the bottom. Right. All right. Get it spinning. Okay. Whoa! Less, slower than that, slower than that. Put one hand on the outside, just keep pulling it out until it's as wide as you want it to be. I love getting crafty. I love it. Like, half my crafts don't even work out, but it's still fun for me. I get in my zone, and yeah, I have fun with it. So right now you have just the right technique going, you're almost there. Keep okay. it spinning, don't stop. Oh. <laughs> the way your hands are wobbling, right? You feel the clay trying to just push you. Yeah. Don't just resist it. it enough that your hand stops moving. And as soon as your arm is still, you're going to oh, be in the middle. Correct. Oh, that's enough Oh, oh, oh right. you said that. Hold on, I need to add more water. My pot started to look like really nice, and Ashley actually messed up and had to get more clay. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. I seem to be having some problems. I made a hole in the bottom of my pot. It's a big one. I messed up. I don't really know what I'm doing. It looks as though you tried to go too far. So, what do I do? You start over. All right, that's okay. It's a learning process. I think I can do it faster this time. So I kept making mine, kept making mine, kept making mine. I was trying to get it to center, but it kind of kept being like oblong and abstract and whatever. And I look over, and Ashley's bowl is just starting to look perfect, like literally perfect. So what do I do? I paint war paint on my face. It gave me the motivation to kind of catch up with her. But then guess who paints war paint on her face? Ashley. Maybe some of this. And Dang it. Actually, I hear Clay makes really good facials. We could just do that instead of making pots. Can I smear my hand all over your face? No, you're trying to intimidate me. Meg, how are you doing over there? I don't know. I think it's going to be abstract. Her bowl is just even more perfect and more perfect and more perfect, and mine's turning into a pile of mush, and then it kind of caves in. Whoop. Wait, that didn't happen. Wait, it collapsed. I don't know what to do. This is freaking cool. Sorry. OK, I'm done now. It looks like I'm the clear winner here. You can't judge art like that. This is how I meant it to be. I gotta say, I actually, I kinda like it. Thanks. All you needed was a second attempt. I messed up mine too. Well, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go with it. You know, if you're gonna die, let's die in style. Art is something that doesn't have to be perfect. Ashley's bowl was perfect and it made us both happy, but mine wasn't and we were still happy about it. All in all, a good day, good class, positive deals. It's High perfect. five, Meg. Yeah. All right, so we're back. It's a little bit later in the day. Alex just gave us a call. Our bowl is ready. Hey, Alex. Hey, guys. We're back for her bowl. Cool, it just came out. Whoa. So, that cool is freaking that? awesome. Oh, my God. I love it. I'm pretty impressed with it. myself, I gotta I say. It. It's beautiful. It came out awesome. All right, so, Alex, you're the best. Thank you for the lesson. Thanks for showing us around. Yeah. This is just 
really, really fun. Thanks for coming in. I'm Thank glad you, you guys so had much. a good time. So today was pretty awesome. I watched Ash make a really, really cool bowl, and she said I could share it. So comment down below if you've ever tried making any pottery or if you would want to. And make sure to subscribe to Awesome Miss TV and my channel, and we'll see you later. Bye! Bye.